Hi guys, Wandersun here. In this tutorial, I will show you how to add your custom widgets to the Pi One Dark interface. In this tutorial, I will show you how to add the Pi Toggle button which I showed you step by step how to create in another tutorial. The link to this tutorial is on the card above. After that I will show you how to add to our project in a very simple way. Let's start by opening VS Code in our Pi One Dark project. We will then open our project's widgets folder, where we have all the custom widgets from this project. Inside the toggle button folder, we'll just need the Pi Toggle folder, which we created in another tutorial as mentioned earlier. Copy and paste this folder into the widgets folder. I'm going to copy and paste the header from another custom widget. This procedure is not mandatory, but I will do it to keep the same pattern in all widgets. After this process, we can copy these lines that we use to import our custom widgets and paste them into the init file. This file is located at the root of the widgets folder of our project. Inside the Pi toggle file, we will only make one change which will be to change the important header the QT core that we use throughout the Pi One Dark project. We will do this for when you need to update a version of PySide, we only change the QT core file. Now we will go to the last step, which is to add our custom widget inside the setup main window file, where you have all the other widget examples we are using in this project. And finally, we will add to some layout, where it will be displayed on our page. Let's import the class in our toggle button called PyToggle, where we can check as shown in the VS Code all the parameters that this class can receive. Let's start by setting the width of our widget, then we'll go to the colors for our widget. Using Py one Dark, always use the theme colors as shown in the video. By doing this, when you change the application theme, all widget colors will be automatically changed. Apply all these colors as shown in the video. You can open the theme file to check the name of each object if you have questions. This procedure is the same as we did in the previous tutorial, and I recommend you to watch it before creating your projects using Pi One Dark. Note that when running our application we can't see our widget, that's because we first need to add it to a layout as shown in the previous tutorial. Let's add this widget to row layout 3, next to the other buttons. Change to the object we created containing the Pi toggle button, and when running our application, we can now see our widget added to the project. In just 3 minutes of tutorial, I showed you how easy it is to integrate your custom widgets to Pi One Dark. This is the same procedure that was done in other widgets, such as the Pi slider above, which also has a tutorial here on the channel, as well as the circular progress bar. Whenever adding a new widget just follow the same example shown in this tutorial. And we end this tutorial here. Pi One Dark is now available to all Patreon supporters with early access. This project will be released free to everyone on August 1, 2021 on GitHub. But if you want early access to this project, consider being a supporter of Patreon, where you can help with $5, $10 or $15. This value helps me to dedicate myself to producing more projects like this and videos for the channel. Thanks to all Patreon supporters and all channel subscribers who are sharing this project. See you in the next video.